You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White 2 fans, we are back with another video and we're going to be talking about former ESPN reporter John Clayton. We got some very, very sad news uh, this morning that John Clayton, formerly of ESPN, passed away. He was uh, 67 years old. You can see right here on, Out on OutKick, longtime NFL reporter John Clayton dies. The professor is gone. Now, there's a lot of reasons why they probably called him the professor. I always thought they called him the professor because he looked like a professor, you know, with the glasses and everything like that. But um, um apparently, because if you go to ESPN, they actually have a little tri tribute to uh, uh, the professor. They were talking about you were more educated on the NFL after uh, talking to John Clayton. But uh, Bobby Burrack on OutKick writes, longtime NFL reporter John Clayton, 67, has passed away. ESPN's uh, Seth uh, Wickersham announced Friday night, quote, he was one of those colleagues who was not only always eager to help you, but went above and beyond to help. He took his work, his work seriously with all his files and spreadsheets, but not himself, Wickersham tweets. Rip to a gentleman and Hall of Famer. In 1976, Clayton began his career as a Pittsburgh Steelers reporter at the Pittsburgh Press. Later, Clayton became known as one of the most connected sports writers in the Seattle area. Clayton worked at ESPN from 1995 to 2017, covering the NFL in various roles. Clayton was a fan favorite among viewers and responsible for some of the best. This is Sports Center commercials. We all love this one. This is probably my favorite one right here. Uh, Don Don Van Natter uh, Jr. tweets this out right here. Let's watch this uh, clip right here. This is always one of my uh, favorite. Uh, this is Sports Center commercials, and this is you know before the woke times, before the dark days of uh, ESPN, when they actually focus on sports. Let's check this out. It's hard to find an expert more dedicated than John Clayton. He's the consummate pro. We'll see how the 4-3 and the cover three work together. John Clayton with the lead. Thanks, Dan. Take care. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Whenever we need a brilliant insight, he's available at the drop of a hat. Hey, Ma! I'm done with my segment! <laughs> Uh, well, you know what? He really didn't have a ponytail. He didn't have a ponytail. But man, that was some uh, fun times back in the day of ESPN. Hopefully, man, ESPN really needs to get back to that. They really do. I'm, but I'm not going to um, talk about that uh, right now. But uh, you can see here, there's some tributes actually pouring into uh, um, John Clayton. Trey Wingo, who used to work at ESPN, says to the professor, the architect of the greatest uh, sports center commercial ever. Haven't just gained an insider for the ages. I agree that this is probably the best. Uh, this is Sports Center commercial. Probably is. Uh, Danny Kelly. Amazing seeing how much everyone in sports media loved and admired John Clayton, a legend and Hall of Famer who was always very kind to me. Encyclopedic knowledge of the sport. Uh, Brian Floyd says, just going to go cry for a while. Yes, yeah, 67, man, that's. A really, really young age right there um, to pass away. Uh, I believe that he had a short illness. That's what was said on uh, ESPN. Don't know the cause of death or anything like that. But um, that's it, guys. The professor has gone upstairs. And hope it, hope, I hope that um, he rests in peace. Condolences to his family and to his uh, colleagues that actually knew him. Um Sad day. Sad day, man. John Clayton was a really, really good one. Really, really good one. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and White 2 fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White 2. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.